you, Mom? What you doing, Stella? Oh, no. I can't sleep, Junior. Too much going on. Too much going on where, Mom? Here. Man, I'm the one that should be nervous. I mean, with graduation and all. Man, I am nervous. <laughs> I was nervous when I was your age. I was younger than you, leaving home and all. I just sitting here thinking about it all. The hard part's over. Get some white music on that box for a change. Frankie Lane. Frankie Lane? Well, he's colored. Good try. He's Italian. Here, this is for you. Girl, get moving. Clean up the end of that counter and wake up Davis. Yeah, let him sleep. He's drunk. I told you to wake him up. He ain't bothering nobody. We'll be together. Give me my 50 cent, MJ. What are you saying, Negro? Give me my 50 cent. Mary. You accuse me of being a thief? You always steal them from me. So try. Try Mary, you are in trouble. You've got yourself some trouble now. Your temple's gonna be the death of you, Mary. You gotta learn to back off. I can't learn nothing when they won't let me go to school. When all this dies down, maybe you come back? There is world elsewhere besides this place, Daddy. People forget, Mary. So will you. Maybe. You pray for me, Daddy. Every day, child. You know I love you. I know. My brother will take good care of you in Chicago. OK. Here's something I, I carried with me all my life. When times get difficult, read it. It's like a prayer. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I love you too, child. <laughs> Will you write me? I'll write you. All aboard now. Okay. Bye, Dad. Oh, come on, Ma. I got to see Ruby. And the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Mrs. Thomas. You know that son of yours, that boy, Isaiah. Growing up real quick now, isn't he? Isn't he? I don't want to talk to you about Isaiah. I wasn't thinking of limiting ourselves to the one boy, Mrs. Thomas. I was thinking about all of your sons. No daddy to look after him. Now it seems to me that we ought to be able to sit down and reason together about your son. You know, like the man says, sit down and reason. You stay away from my children. Do you hear me? Am I talking to the right person here? You're talking to the right person. That person isn't used to being talked to that way. He's not used to it. He'll get used to it once he's had enough practice. Tomorrow's a school day. I want you and your brothers home tonight. Mama, please, everybody's going. Uh-uh, not everybody. You not. Excuse me, Mrs. Thomas. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, don't I'm, touch me. I don't know you. Well, I don't mean to bother you, Mrs. Thomas. What do you want to talk to my mama about? Basketball. Michael, I've been talking to Well, Michael. she don't want to talk. You want to talk basketball and Michael, you talk to me. Hey, boy, you were smoking today. Come here, I want to ask you something. Lord, Michael, I want you to stay away from them people. Think of me no trouble, Mama. I'm telling you, the huge trouble. Mama, star. All kinds of people want to meet me. Most of them bad or turning bad. Are they undecided and leaning the wrong hey, way? Mom! Watch this layup. Isaiah, I'm going to dribble your nail behind her. Come on. Take a light, man. Oh, man. Good. Oh, man. 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 Oh, man.
movie. <laughs> Night, Mom. Big time. Big time. Here come the judge. Sandman and the Sand Mama coming through. Get your love sooner or later. That's good, Terry. She's fine, Mom. Nice, sweetheart. Good night, you. Mama, I need some new shoes. My toes poke out of the ones I got. It's no wonder where you run around in them. So we can get new ones? Not new, but Sunday after church, we're going to Goodwill and see what they got in the barrel left in. But I wanted to play basketball after church. You are going to church, to confession, Goodwill, and we'll see about basketball. You going to confess, too? I sure am. What do mamas confess? Well, I'm good about mass. I'm not the best about confession, but mainly, I think we... We confess to our priests, not our sons. Good night, Junior. Get that pillow, Preston. Sweet dream. Oh, my man, uh... ragged this morning. Did you get a good night's sleep? Nope. The mattress too hard? Something like that? The mattress is fine. But what do you suppose it is? Coming down with something, maybe? You coming down with something, all right. With a bad case of late nights and fast company. I see you get a good dose of mama to cure. Get you behind on the school. The 
thing is, you're getting too big to be walking to school all the time. I mean, you let everybody else walk to school by themselves. Everybody else is in high school. And you said that wrong. Ruby, what are you supposed to say? Should be themselves, not they self. Mama, what am I going to do about my Spanish? I won't be able to get into college if I don't take a language. Oh, you going? How can you be so sure? Because I was never allowed to go to school past the third grade. I promise you, sister, you going. Look here, y'all. The thing is, you have to listen and learn. You keep on listening, and then you learn some more. Knowledge is what you need. You look, you listen, you keep your mouth shut in school. That's how you learn. That's how. Well, Aunt JoJo's across the street. I'm going to walk on with him, OK? Yeah. All the children still with you? Yeah. Except Dolores. She grown. And uh, no idea where your husband is. No, he's down south somewhere is all I know. He's a victim, Mr. Davis. Excuse me? He didn't get promoted because he's black, and he had to train the white boy that took his job. Oh, I uh, see you're still in private housing. That could be a problem down the line. We're attempting to consolidate a lot of people into the projects. No, I won't take my kids to the projects. A lot of very nice people live there. A lot of very nice people are forced to move in there. They can't stay very nice for very long. We may have no choice about moving you. There are a lot of rules and written. Mr. Davis, I think Nat King Cole was a much better piano player than he was a singer. And the only thing I miss about the South is grits. I'm afraid I don't understand. I'm a person, Mr. Davis. I'm not a caseload. I am different from everybody else in the world. Just like everybody else in the world is a little bit different from me. I want you to remember me as a person. And next time, maybe we'll have a better talk. I like my food stamps now, please. I like my food stamps now, please. <laughs> Girl, you are so bad. You gonna buy yourself a pack of trouble. You get her up with those people, they'll get you into the projects like this quick. I won't go. I won't. They don't always leave it up to you. You thought about that? They give me some grief. I take your Caesar down there. Have him kill me some grass. <laughs> Oh, wait, I want to check this out for Ruby. Education is the backbone of the soul. My daddy used to say that. That's just fancy talk. Dr. Ralph Bunch and Dr. Martin Luther King talk fancy, too, and I like it just fine. Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> Drop them off for me. Hey. Come on, I'm just going to be a minute. Excuse me, sister. I want to find out about the language lessons. Oh, you'll have to talk to Brother Ted. Outside, coaching basketball. Thanks. Excuse me. Hi, Mr. Thomas. You here to talk about Michael? I'm here to talk about Ruby. Ruby? What about Mike? Well, let's start again from the top. How can I help you? Why would you want to? God helps those who help themselves, man. Traveling, James. Turn it over. You teach Spanish here? We do. I want my daughter Ruby in that class. OK, we'll take care of her. Now, let's talk about your son, Mike. What about Mike? A great ball player, or a pure player, a joy to watch, don't you think? Say what you're saying. Mrs. Thomas, Michael can have a great future if he was in a different school. In a white school? Yes. I want him in a black school. Why? Because that's where he belongs. That's where he always been. That's where his friends are. Are you Catholic, Mrs. Thomas? I am. Catholic school. That ought to count for something, seems to me. 
Why don't you go home and think about it? I already thought about it. Is Ruby still eligible for the Spanish? There are forms to fill out in the office. Sister Kevin and help. Mrs. Thomas, can you cook? If I got a house full of kids, what do you think? We lost our cook. You want the job? Who am I be cooking for? A couple of priests, a few brothers. I don't mean brother brothers. I mean uh, religious. You know. I know what you mean. So? I'm telling you, man, you can't play. I'll play as good as Wilk Chamberlain. Huh. The day you make it to the NBA is the day that I'll be a rich man. I'm telling you. It's in the family. You know Michael and me. Sure. Yeah. I'll be great. You think you can play, but you can't play. You can't play better than my grandmother. And look, man, she's on a cane and everything. And I'm telling you right now, you can't beat the lady. She's too good for you. Stop it! Leave me alone! Oh, come on, man. They're just fooling around. Let's go. Leave me alone! Stop it! Hey, man, that's Ruby. themselves lost in the wrong neighborhood. Now, fellas, I got some in my pocket. Either it's candy or it ain't. You got till I count to three to find out what. One. Ravens, I must be going deaf. I ain't hear nobody say thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. You know, it's one thing I do have to say about those blades, though. They got good taste. I bet you do, too. My brother and I have to get home now. Come on, Junior. What's in your pocket, Nero? It ain't candy, Jojo. Let's go. did you do? I didn't do nothing. What do you mean you didn't do nothing? What did they say? They didn't say nothing. They just kicked me out. Well, I'll go talk to the school. Don't be what talking they to talk nobody, Mama. They said it was final. Just let it be. But don't tell me what to do. My older son gets kicked out of school. There's plenty I can do. Besides, there's other schools. Not for me, Mama. Eh? All I know is ball, Mama. It's the only thing I'm good at is not enough. Don't you dare walk away from me. And don't you dare give up on yourself like that. You got Daddy, a brain, Lord Mike. Help me, Mike! I'm the one that cares about you! I'm the one that loves you! Glad I can get back here! Michael! Michael! How long has Lord Michael been gone? Until I can't Past week, he been home three nights. I don't know, maybe he he gets in for I'm sleep and gone when I get up. He'll be back. You'll see. I don't know, Sarah. The street got him. The streets don't let go that easy. Oh, uh, Mr. Benson says he give you five dollars for them stamps. That's ten dollars worth of food stamps, son. Well, you know that's a risk. That's like a risk fee. Look, selling food stamps for money is against the law. So is letting kids go around without good shoes. Look, you don't have to take it if you don't want to. Get here. 
And how about you throw in some of them little skinny cigars, too? Some skinny cigars. I hope you don't smoke on this thing. Got to. Get sick to my stomach when I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, what you think? That's a little fancy. Dear, you don't know nothing about fancy. You should have seen me. I was so pretty. Clothes I had one time? My third husband bought me all kinds of clothes. Did I ever tell you about him? I don't know. I can't keep up with you and men. I might as well go ahead and take this. Never know. I just might meet somebody. Why don't you try and find something for yourself? Something pretty. No, Lord. Them days are long gone. Mary, poor folks got to take their pleasures where they can find them, and that's us poor folks. Look, there are plenty of times I have run out of money, but I ain't never been poor. How much? <laughs> They're different colors. You know, it's a lot of that going around. <laughs> $1.35. I give you 90 cents. A dollar and a quarter. 90 cents. That's no, Miss Dallas. Hi. Oh, that's me, Ruby. This is my girl. Ruby said hi to Brother Ted. Hi, Brother Ted. Nice to meet you, Ruby. Nice to meet you, too. Who's this young man? Junior. Oh, Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Play a little, do you? Play a lot. Any good? Being with sneakers like that, it's got to be good. Let's see what you got, Isaiah. Oh. Go. See you later, Mom. Bye, right Doug. When are you going to show me this kitchen, brother? I thought you'd never ask. Everything okay, Mrs. Thomas? Yeah, um, just, just fine. Anything we need around here, you just let me know. I will. I'll make a list. So what would this couple of priests want for dinner? I'll leave that up to you, Mrs. Thomas. Well, I'm only flesh and blood. Don't be expecting no miracles. I don't suppose this would be a good time to talk about Michael. No time's a good time to talk about Michael, Brother Ted. Maybe I can help, huh? I'll do all right. A boy like that needs a daddy. Maybe if you were in a different school. St. Jude's or DePaul Prep. DePaul Prep is too far, Brother Ted. It's just that the academics... DePaul Prep is too far, Brother Ted. About the provisions. You know the refrigerator? God helps those who help themselves. Within reason, that is. Have a good day. I will. Brother Ted! Yes, Mrs. Thomas. Thanks. Yo, brothers, brothers. How you doing, Nero? What's happening? Come here, come here. I'm up. Now, come Thursday, you two cats are going to be one of us, right? That is, if you can prove yourselves. How are we going to prove ourselves? <laughs> come on, a couple smart fellas like you. I know you're going to think of something. What are your names? 
I want some names because I'm calling your parents. I ain't got nobody to call. What about you, big boy? You got a name? Because I'm calling your mama or your daddy or I call the police. Now, which one is it going to be? Call the police, mister. Please call the police. Call anybody you want. Please don't call my mama. Okay, that's all. We ain't thieves like that, Mom. Did you steal, Junior? I'm waiting. Yeah, I guess well, so. Then don't go telling me you're not a thief. How long you think? What? How long they gonna be locked up? A year? Two? Well, they didn't use a gun or nothing. Did you? Mama! You committed a crime. You do that, you go to jail. How long? It kills me to have to say this, but the jails are just too crowded this week. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we won't have room for them. Well, there may not be no room in your jail, but there's plenty of room in mine. Come on, get out, get out of here. Come on. I'm sorry. This is Thomas. What, Jojo? You gotta tell my grandmother what me and Isaiah are done. No, I'm not. You are, aren't you? Grandma, it's me, Jojo. Miss Albert. Bye, bye. Mom, I'm sorry. That better mean you'll never do anything like that again. I promise. I'll make sure you keep that promise. Isaiah, we got a good game going on outside eighth graders. How'd you like to join us? Junior. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mary. Hey, Brother Ted. Pack the St. Jude's and DePaul Prep. They would both be willing to take a chance on Lord Michael. Now, that sounds real nice, but I have no earthly idea where he is. That's where it is, Brother Ted. Some march right along, others choose not to. Well, Michael made his choice. He took himself out of my life. worried about you. So when are you coming home, Michael? Maybe one these days. Maybe not. I don't know. Brother Ted said he could get you in St. Jude or DePaul Prep. I don't want to go to St. Jude or DePaul Prep. They don't know how to play ball. But they want you. I don't want them. School's over for me, Isaiah. Don't talk like that. Look. I'm your brother. Ain't nothing in this world gonna ever change that. The things ain't gonna be the way they was before. They ain't never gonna be the way they was before. Look, how about I get you and me both some Coney dogs? What do you say? Yeah, I can dig it. Come on, you look like you don't wanna go. Yeah, I wanna go. <laughs> so how's that jump shot? It's pretty good. See, I told you he's gonna get it wrong. I know, they always do. Mm -hmm. Look at his hair. <laughs> Leave his hair alone. Wait, what's Who this? wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. No. Come on, say it. Thomas Jefferson. No. George Washington? <laughs> Thomas Jefferson is... Oh, no, we could have had a refrigerator. What you gonna do with a refrigerator, Mom? Daddy. Put it in our bedroom. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dolores. Let's all hear it for Dolores Moore. I just took him to get a couple of Coney dogs. I don't know what the big deal is. Mama, nothing bad. I 
love you like my next breath. But if you don't live in my house, you're going to live by my rules. Do you understand me? Yeah. I understand. Goodbye. Everybody, come here. Everybody, take one. Break it in two. easy to break one, but you can't do it with ten. These sticks are like a family. Together, we're strong. We can help each other. But alone, we're just alone and a little weak. Don't ever forget that. It's just Jojo, Mom. Come on. Homework. Mom, it's not just Jojo. Now, when a man is a raven on the street, Judy, never does he have to be alone. Wherever he walks, he's part of a brotherhood. Wherever he goes anywhere, he goes there in safety. I'm telling you, it breaks my heart to see young, strong men out here being victimized in these streets because they don't have nobody to take their part. Now, I was saying to the ravens just the other day, isn't this right, ravens? I was saying that there ought to be something we can do about this. We ought to go out and tell these young people that we can provide an organization, a family of men, that can supply some protection for them, that will put some money in their pockets at all times. And I'm telling you that a woman wants to know, she needs to know, yeah, yeah. that a man... Miss Thomas, we ain't doing Shut nothing up. wrong, we just... The one gang in this family, that's the Thomas gang. And I'm the leader. You don't get off my property. I'm gonna blow you across the expressway. Come on. Try me. Good little brother. Hey, where have you been? Out of town for a while. Things to do, people to see. Looking good. No, I don't. No shot. Pretty man. 
still got it. Yeah, if the game wasn't any longer than two minutes, I'd probably hang in there pretty tough. Don't talk like that. I mean, you're the sweetest player I've ever seen. Left hand move, right hand move. It's all sweet. You got it. Nah. The who I was taught by, though. Were well, you easy to teach? Quick learner. Good teacher. Besides, Mama. Misses you. That doesn't tell me how she's doing. Good, I guess. She got a part time job at the church, you know, helping out with social stuff. But you can see her tonight. I have a game. She's always there for my games. That figures. But I'll pass. What's wrong? You don't want to see me play? I don't need to see you play. I know you're good. I know I used to be good. Tell Mama say hello. shotgun at home tonight? Or? We don't want no trouble. There won't be no trouble. As long as the blaze don't start now. Hero, I assume you're going to follow the rules tonight? You can assume anything you want. As long as the blaze don't start tripping, I assume everything will be cool. Dig. Excuse me. Two Romeos go there and ask those pretty girls to dance. The way we've been playing balls, the girls should ask us to dance. Hey, 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 keep the freaking up! Bring it up, Molly! Get her out of here! Yo, Brent, it's Brent! Cool, stop it! Yo, you don't got no gun. You might run things here. You might run things in the streets, but you don't run things in here. This place is run for decent people. This is the house of the Lord, and he don't want you here tonight. Will you tell the Lord to stay in here? And I'll take care of the streets. Get out of here, man. Brother Ted, we need some sounds in here. Coming right up. Ruby, go in the back and get some sandwiches. I got some. Go on. Yeah. It's a party. Come on, y'all. I didn't even know you were here, girl. Hey, Junior, I want you and your buddy Jojo to help us Kevin Ann. Where is Jojo? I don't know. Hey, Hero, wake up! Hero! Tell me about this kid. What's he all about? 
Well, he comes from a basketball playing family. How many kids? Nine kids. Two girls, seven brothers. His big brother, Michael, was probably the fastest, quickest, most agile player I've ever even seen. What happened to him? He got lost. Anyway, I want you to take a good look at Isaiah. He's got everything Michael had. Yeah, good move. What do you think? What's to think? He's terrific. Simple question. Would you guys be interested in him out at St. Joseph's? How are his grades? Yeah, he's naturally smart. Well, if it can be worked out, we'd love to have him. Okay. Let me do the talking. To him? Uh, his representative. talk my children into things. I tell them what's what. Let them decide for themselves. I'm the mother. I'm not the salesman. Well, do you think you could tell Isaiah what's what about St. Joseph's? I expect I could. You expect you will? The brother Ted, don't you know better than to push it, stubborn people? Besides, Mom, I don't even know anybody way out there. Can't know nobody when you ain't never been to a place. That's another fact. Well, do you think I should go out to this St. Joseph's? Ask your friend. What the hell? Oh, you look nice, Junior. Thanks. Look, don't let nobody push you around, OK? Hey, y'all, I ain't going to California. I'll be back tonight. Well, just come back the same. He be the same, just smarter. <laughs> gotta be going. He's got to be going. Way to be going. Where it's got to be We know you're leaving We got to be We know you're leaving We got to be We know you're going We got to be going by train and bus We got to be going to the next work on the main We got to be See what I got you? Now use it. You be nice, you be polite. Watch what you say, Isaiah. I can't believe I gotta get up this early all the time. You got a golden opportunity, boy. Pure gold. Look, I ain't gonna pass it up, mama. Drop ain't from your speech for good. Now you ready? I don't know. I don't know. Isaiah, I don't know is the answer to nothing. Look here. You're going to have to go on your own and do your own work. You understand me? Yes, Mom. You're my pride and joy. I said never forget that.
welcome to St. Joseph's. Thanks, Coach. The most educational part of my whole summer was the visit to the Apache Reservation. Even though they don't have much money and they don't live the same kind of lives we do, it still was kind of neat to see them. My mom thought it was educational, but my dad thought there were too many flies. <laughs> Excellent, Pat. Nicely done. Now then, who wants to be next? Mr. Thomas, how about you? Me? You're Mr. Thomas, I believe. We just want to hear about your most memorable summer vacation. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> what I remember the most about... Your name first, please. I'm kind of a stickler for that, I'm afraid. Isaiah Laurie Thomas III. A very impressive name. Please, go ahead. Well, well, where I come from, uh, I, I, I mean, it ain't, it ain't a lot of different things to do. Well, tell us what there is then. Well, my, my mama, she, she, she works at a church. Kind of like a cook. And my sister and my brothers and me, we help out. But I mostly spend my time playing ball. Are you a good hitter, Isaiah? Basketball, not baseball. <laughs> I'm sorry, go on. Well, that's it. I, 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 I mean, wait, 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 wait. What was I supposed to feature on again? Just the most memorable thing that happened on a summer vacation. Well, the thing I remember the most was, uh, was the summer. My, my best friend got himself killed. Got himself killed? Like, in a car accident? Oh, man. It wasn't a no-car accident. Thank you, Isaiah. no choice. The man from the welfare office called me. The man from the welfare office told me. And you just giving up? Just doing what I gotta do, Mary. Girl, talk to me. You give in like this, I'm never gonna talk to you again. Don't you get high and mighty with me. All this foolishness you do, all this job talk about kids going to college, all you got is a head full of crazy dreams. And won't none of them come true. I tell you, you're moving to prison. You're going to be sentenced to the projects for life. Prison? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a mover. Got an elevator and everything. Mama, I am transferring to Clinton. Mama, it is nothing out there but a bunch of people using $50 words and thinking they better than everybody else. 
That goes from the teachers to the students, too. And really, the whole place. Look, I'm transferring to Clinton. All right. We'll move into the projects, then. Now, Mama, don't kid now. Junior, there's something in the air today. It's giving up in the air. Sarah giving up, you giving up. Hey, I see it right in the wall. I'm giving up, too. We're moving to the projects. Look, you just don't know what you're saying. That's all. I'm saying I want life to be fair. If everybody else gets to give up, I don't see why I got to keep on fighting. But you can't give up, though. Why? Maybe because your mama, that's why. And you are my son. You gonna tell me you giving up and I can't? No. Well, well no. I, I mean... I, I guess I mean I won't be transferring to Clinton. I'm gonna go lay down. Been along. I left to play nothing. Well, certainly told her, huh? Ruby. <laughs> Estemporaneous, what it mean? I don't know. It mean composed, performed, or uttered on the spur of the moment. Still don't know what it mean. You know how you take your jump shot? Yeah. That's extemporaneous. It is. See, a foul shot is not extemporaneous. Well, then how about a hook shot? I mean, is that extemporaneous, too? Yeah, I don't know. I ain't never seen you make a hook <laughs> shot. This ain't your private train gonna wait on you all day. I'll leave this on the kitchen table. Hey, swing it in. Let's go. Move it around. Stay balanced. Let's go. Go through. Go through. Go through. Go through. game is passing. You gotta move the ball around. You understand me? Shooting's for pheasant season. Now pass the ball. Pass, pass. Here, hit the open man. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, move it. Go. Move it through. Wait, what are you two doing? Give me the ball. Billy, take it out. Man, what about the foul? Play the game. <laughs> Up top. Let's go. Okay, take it up top. Let's go. Come on, Billy. Get some movement here. And move through. Move through. Come on. Pass it up. Up top. Come on. One more time. Let's go. Tommy, come on. You're moving like an old lady. Hey, get off me, man. Let's go back where you came from. Hey, hey, hey. Knock it off. All right, Thomas. Shut up. You're out of here. Hit the showers and see me later. Me, you throw me out I don't want to hear it. I said get out of here. Now hit the showers. Adios. Yo, banana, in the middle, come over here. Take Thomas's place, give me the ball. All right, let's start it all over again, same play. They're being hard on you because you're the new kid. How right. new do you mean? Well, if you take a swing at one of those guys, you're out of here. It's as simple as that. Come on, you saw what they were doing to me. Yeah, I did, and it stunk, stank, whatever. And I saw what you were doing, too. I told everyone the name of the game was passing, and you went the length of the court for a layup. Hit the open man, that's how you build a team, Isaiah. It's not fair. Like, none of it's fair. It's not fair that you gotta hold your temper while you're taking your lumps. It's not fair that my tallest man is 6'3", and I'm expected to produce a basketball team. None of it's fair, son. But those are the crosses we have to bear. And we've got to make the best of it. Well, I guess it's what we have to do then.
You think I look bad? You ought to see the junkie that tried to do this to me. He didn't know who he was messing with, did he? I was taking the trash out to the incinerator chute, and he jumped me. Couldn't have been real bright. I wasn't carrying no purse or anything. Maybe he wanted to steal some grapefruit rind. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You was right, though. It's a war zone in the projects. If you gotta freeze hell five times over, you do what you gotta do to stay out of there. Vocabulary words to study while you're brushing your teeth. Mama's everywhere. Uh, hello there, uh, Mrs. Thomas. You think Nat King Cole was a better pianist and singer, and the only thing you miss about the South is grits. Welfare office. That's it. I mean, it was only that one time, but uh, I got transferred downtown after that. Well, I tried to remember what you said about not being a number. I tried to. Uh, I don't know how successful I was, but I tried to treat people as individuals. Mr. Uh, Davis. Davis. What you want? Well, I saw your name on the list, and I just thought you ought to hear it from a person, not some form letter, you know, like you used to talk about. You saw my name on what list? A list of welfare clients who are going to be moved into the projects. Sorry, Mrs. Thomas. Defense, defense, defense. Okay, put it here. Let's go! I know you're adjusting here, and it's not easy, but I honestly don't think you're trying as hard as you can. Miss Day, I just need some time, you know, so I can get into the routine here. I think you're capable of doing the work, Isaiah, but your grades don't show it. Got a C- minus on your exam, and your essay could have been an F. I gave you a D as a warning. Without a C average, there's no college. With an F, there's no St. Joseph's. Do you understand all that? Yeah. Oral presentations of American poets are coming up in two weeks. Do well there, and you might raise your overall grade average enough. This is a poem by Robert Frost. I want you to memorize it, know what it means, and be able to recite it in front of the class. <laughs> you mean I, I got to stand up and, and then say it out loud? Yes. Miss Day, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just not good at that kind of stuff. Isaiah, you know how I'm always on your case about passing off, sharing some of the offense? Well, what Miss Day is asking is about the same thing. She wants you to share part of yourself with the rest of the class. Same move. Different game. Hey, Mama. What's that? Don't go inside, because they're still tacking it up. Who tacking what up? The city marshals, they're putting up an eviction notice. I'm taking it down. Jamal, you can't do that. You can get in trouble for that. Excuse me. It's going to happen to me. I know it's going to happen. You in charge of dinner for you and your brothers. Make sure Isaiah does his vocabulary. You boys help her with the dishes. If Sarah calls... Oh, Mama, where are you going? If the man grabs something from you, you got to go grab the man. I'll be back. Would you tell Mayor Daly Mary Thomas is here? 
Do you have an appointment, Miss Thomas? No, I don't, but I have a letter here from the mayor saying he'd help me out whenever I needed it. I'm sorry, oh, but you need an appointment to see the mayor. Don't give him a chance to complain. Now, Hello, Mayor gonna... Daly. I'm Mayor Thomas. Ah. Good afternoon, Miss Thomas. Mother of Isaiah Thomas. You remember Isaiah, don't you? Um. You sent us this letter after he scored 38 points against St. Patrick's. You said if there was ever anything the mayor's office could do to help out to make sure to get in touch. Ma'am, the mayor's office sends out a lot of letters like that over the period of a year. You don't the mean offer... to tell me, law Democratic voter from Ward 37, this letter don't mean what it say? They trying to force me. I don't think that's right. They're trying to put my family in prison, because that's just what those projects are. I need my check, but I cannot do that to my family. For you Irish and Catholic, I'm Catholic. We blacks and you Irish are a lot alike. How's that, Mr. Thomas? Slavery. We both been slaves. You were slaves in the mines. We were in the cotton fields. You all survived poverty. We still working on it. How come you know so much about Irish history? I'm an educated woman, Mayor Daly. That's the reason I trust the Irish. When you're not protecting us, you're turning your back on the poor. And when an Irishman does that, Mr. Mayor, he turned his back on his own history. There's a whole lot more we have to learn. We've run just about every test you can imagine on your mother, but we won't have the results back until tomorrow morning. But she did have a heart attack, right? She did, yes. So, are you her doctor? I mean, are you the doctor taking care of mama? No, I'm just one of the doctors on call. Everything I'm telling you is what one of the senior doctors told me. But you are a real doctor. As real as they get. So when do we get to see her? Look, all of you at one time might be a little much. Maybe one or two of you for a few minutes. You can take turns, okay? Thank you. Mama's gonna be all right. She, she's strong. So we got to be strong, okay? in at a time. It's just as well, I don't want everybody looking at me like this. I had a faint spell. <clears throat> My mom and the doctor said it was more than a faint spell. Remind me of this time when I was little, I had a fever. And my daddy was bathing me with cool water. And he was telling me about Jesus feeding the hungry and Jesus loving the people, Jesus. He's the healer, Mama. How are you holding up, boy? Just trying, Mama. Just trying to do what you've been teaching me. Mm, no teaching been going on here, I see it. You can't teach a bird how to fly. You love it, you feed it. Then one day it do what it was born to do. That's what I'm counting on. We gotta go, Mama. I understand. 
French fries are potato strips. These are potato rounds. Okay, I I'll cut them the other way after no, I'm done. That's all right. I'll cook them like this. What you making? The potato chips? So that's why Mama will let you cook. Okay, look, I'm cutting them the other way. See? Look, strips. No, I'm already cutting them around, so you're going to have rounds and strips now. Yeah, rounds and strips. How you doing? I've done better. Hard assignment? It's not hard to read. It's not hard to figure out what it's about either. But I'm supposed to get up and say it in front of the class. No way. But Junior, you play ball in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah, but see, they're screaming and yelling. That's fine. You know, that helps me get pumped up. They ain't just sitting there looking and waiting for me to mess up. When Mama comes home. Yeah. When Mama comes home. Stay calm, not be fussing at everything. You let go of me, I won't even be fussing. Who driving? I am. Shit. Stay calm, they say. <laughs> Push from the bottom, Ted. Oh. Getting better. Maybe the death of both of us, but. She's getting better. Mm -hmm. Every line on the loop is tied up in a big knot. So look for a bus. Turning to traffic, travel on mm -hmm. the outbound mm -hmm. Kennedy is slow going. Oh, the there's Peter's house. Three minutes from downtown to the junction. You live there? Yeah. The I haven't seen him so at church in a long time. Expressway, watch out for the... So, Brother Ted, when you gonna get these brakes fixed? <laughs> oh, I checked the fluid. Don't you run me into nothing. Come on, I'm not gonna run you. Come on. Okay, cool drives, Mom. Okay, here comes the guest of honor. Come on. Surprise! <laughs> Where'd y'all get this? You know we can't afford it. I got an employee's discount, Mama, and I saved it up, so it costs us next to nothing, I promise you. Besides, you can't have any anyway. Salad. Yeah. That's what the doctor told us. Hey. Who the mom around here anyway? <laughs> you, you must be, you wait, must wait, be. wait. We need to say ourselves a little grace here. Yeah. We got a lot to be thankful for. Dear Lord, thank you for this food, and thank you for blessing us with our mama's return home and to this table. Amen. 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 And we ask your blessings on those beloved members of this family who cannot be here with us tonight. Amen. 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 Next recitation, Mr. Thomas, please. Two roads. Name, please. Isaiah Lord Thomas III. Two roads diverged Lo 
long, long, I, I stood and looked. Would you like to read it from the page, Mr. Thomas? No, I don't want to read it from the page. I don't want to be standing here saying it, and I don't want to be in school either. You know, I don't belong here, and I'm not. I'm gone. Hello, Mama. How you been? Fine. I had me a little upset a while back, but I'm fine now. Did Brother Ted tell you why I wanted to see you? Yeah, he did. I don't think I can help. I don't believe you don't want to help your brother. You know you are his hero. You're the only one to listen to. But Michael, you're the only one. He's got his own life. And I got my own. Hope it works out. Bye, Mama. You miss Isaiah that much? Miss him? That you want him to keep you company out in the streets? What's this I hear about you quitting school? Your mama talk to you? She's worried about you. Man, I just can't take it out there no more. You gotta be strong. I am strong. I mean strong in the mind. You just don't understand. I mean, all I want to do is play ball. Isaiah, all my life, the only thing I ever dreamed about was playing ball. I never knew there were other things in life, things big and more important. I never even looked for them. By the time I did, it was too late. Man, I don't think I can find anything out there at that white school. If you don't, you're going to break Mama's heart. You do what you think is best. And you listen to what Mama says. And you promise me you do whatever it takes for you to stay off these streets. You hear me? Every dream I ever had, I pass on to you. with me all my life. When times get difficult, read it. It's like a prayer. It's like a prayer. June! Come here. Here, read this out loud. Why? Just read it. It's a poem Teddy Roosevelt wrote a long time ago. My daddy gave me that when I left from down south. That's what you're going to recite for Miss Day. And Mama, she said Robert Frost. I know Robert Frost is probably real good, but he just didn't fit your soul. Now read this. <sighs> the credit belongs to the man who... Relax. Come on. Think with your heart. Be talking to your dear. But Mama, you're not going to be there. Close your eyes. I'll be there. Huh. Read it again. Who is Ashley in the arena? Whose face is marred by... What's the word? Marred. Say marred slowly. Think what it means. Whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. Feel it, Junior. Don't swallow your feelings, boy. Those are good feelings. <clears throat> The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, 
whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. Mm -hmm. A man who knows the great enthusiasm and the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who in the end knows the triumph of high achievement. Today, I want to apologize for walking out of class. I'd like to try again. I'd like that, too. It's just that poem by Robert Frost. It just doesn't mean anything to me. Then I'll help you find one that does. I already have. Who wrote it? Teddy Roosevelt. Isaiah. He's not an American poet. But he is an American. I mean, if he isn't an American, who is? And he wrote a poem, so he's an American poet, by definition. It is a poem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sounds like it qualifies to me. Well, Isaiah, it seems as if you found an American poet who's new to me. Why don't you share his work with the rest of the class? Mm -hmm. Isaiah Lord Thomas III. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, who's <clears throat> who whose face is um. Close your eyes. I'll be there. I'll be there. Stay. I want to start over, okay? The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat. A man who knows the great enthusiasm and the great devotions. Who spends himself in a worthy cause. Who in the end knows the triumph of high achievement. So that his place shall never be with these cold and timid souls. Who know neither victory nor defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, Student Athlete of the Year, Isaiah Lord Thomas III. sitting there listening to all the awards being handed out. The Latin Award, the Dramatics Award, and the Math Award. I'm sure surprised I, I didn't win that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were all up there alone saying thanks. But they weren't really alone. Like, I'm not alone now. Yeah, they were saying thanks to the teachers who got us here and, and our friends who gave us a leg up along the way. And most important, our family, who've always been there for us. 
and all of these people together have pushed us and, and tugged us. It really made us walk when we didn't want to walk. But I, I got a mother who is my teacher. I have a mother who's my friend. Most important, I have a mother who's my family. My mother, she took us all to the top of the mountain. And Mama dear, is some kind of you. Thank you for getting us there.